Okay, we talked about the notion of an augmenting path. And it's important in this notion that you're talking about a path in the underlying undirected graph. You simply walk from the source to the sink, ignoring the street signs. The street says one way this way, you just ignore it and walk on it. It's just an ordinary path. So when you walk on an edge, you're either walking forward with the direction of the arrow or backwards against the direction of the arrow. So a path in a network with a flow on it is called an augmenting path when all the forward edges are not full and all the backwards edges are not empty. And in the current flow, I point out that S, B, E, D, F, T is an augmenting path. We, this is a, just a review of last time, again. So you go S to B, that's forward, it's not full. You go B to E, that's backwards, it's not empty. E to D is forward, not full. D to F, forward, not full. And F to T, forward, not full. Any such path is called an augmenting path. So we observe that if you have a forward edge on an augmenting path, it has spare capacity. You could increase the flow up to the capacity if you just look locally. Similarly, a backwards edge has excess flow. You can take stuff away. Now, you can't take away more than what's on the edge. So you have a whole bunch of constraints. And among these constraints, you take the most restrictive one. So you're taking this minimum over all the spare capacities and all the excess flow. And so let, let that be just some quantity V. And let that be the minimum among all of the computations for spare capacity and backwards and, and excess flow. And then you modify the flow with the changes made only along the augmenting path. You increase the flow on forward edges by this minimum quantity and you decrease the flow on the backwards edge by the same quantity. And when you do that, the conservation laws are preserved for free, and the value of your overall flow goes up by this differential, by this quantity V. We look at that path again. When you go from S to B, the spare capacity is 12. When you go backwards from B to E, the excess flow is 24. When you go forward from E to D, the spare capacity is 8. From D to F, the spare capacity is 40. From F to T, the spare capacity is 35. Which is the most restrictive of all of those? It's the 8 on the edge from E to D. So the value V in this instance is 8. And along that path, on all the forward edges, you increase the flow by 8. On the backwards edges, you decrease the flow by 8. And the conservation laws are satisfied while driving up the capacity, uh, the, the value of the entire flow by 8. So here is the same network with the changes made. And just at the end, we were looking at this, and we were saying, do you see any augmenting paths in this updated flow? You do? Um, S to B to D. S to B to? No, you can't go from B to D, because you're going backwards, and the edge is empty. So we looked at this for a while, and uh, maybe we made an attempt or two, but I, I'm not seeing one. 
Okay. Now, that's it for our last lecture. That's the revised set of slides that will be posted from last week. Now, let's go to today.